Halloween is scary enough with the parade of goons and goblins marching door to door. Happy Halloween! But add inclement weather and a busy rush hour, and the day can be a downright nightmare for parents. Halloween, if you're an eight year old or a five year old or a three year old like my grandchildren, it is a big deal. In recent years, the topic of moving Halloween and trick or treating times has become an even bigger deal online. I don't think it's that big of a deal as long as the kids can go out and in, the, in their neighborhood with their mom or dad or an adult. This petition by the Halloween and Costume Association first proposed to switch the official holiday from October 31st to the last Saturday of the month to promote safety. To date, the petition has more than 150,000 signatures. Robin Schwabach says there's pros and cons either way. I know traditionally it's always been on Halloween, but when I was growing up, it was, I lived in Bellevue, Kentucky, and it was on a, a Saturday, and we literally went all day long. After some feedback, the Halloween movement has changed its tune a bit. Now the idea is to add an additional day of festivities in partnership with Party City and other brands. Locally, most places will continue to observe the 31st as Halloween, but offering alternatives. For example, families can trick or treat at the Anderson Town Center Saturday from 4 to 6. And in Harrison, there's a trunk or treat Saturday from 2 to 4. I'm okay with whatever day that it's on, as long as, like I said, they can have fun and enjoy it. I'm a little nervous because this has already caused a stir here in the studio. <laughs> All right, as for all the rest of the trick or treat times and events, you can still find those on our website, WLWT.com. Ashley Kirkland, WLWT News 5.